Dr. Will Castor, a brilliant scientist and researcher in the field of artificial intelligence. He explains that he and his wife Evelyn have been working on creating a sentient machine that will possess collective intelligence and be able to feel emotions and connect with humans. Their goal is to create a machine that is smarter than any human being and that can solve the world's most pressing problems. Will's work has made him a controversial figure. He and Evelyn are targeted by an anti-technology extremist group called RIFT, Revolutionary Independence from Technology, that seeks to destroy all artificial intelligence and those who create it. During a public lecture, a member of RIFT shoots Will with a radioactive bullet. The poison from the bullet will give him only a few weeks to live. Determined to save her husband's life, Evelyn tries to transfer all of Will's brain information to a computer by using past research on monkeys. She consults with her colleague and friend, Max. However, Max initially tries to persuade Evelyn to give up on this decision. After seeing the pain and suffering of his friend, he finally agrees with the idea. They upload Will's consciousness into the machine he had been working on, effectively making him the first-ever sentient computer program. Although it seemed like the project had failed, when they became discouraged, they noticed a message on the monitor. Is anyone there? Will's consciousness begins to explore his newfound abilities. When Will asks for more powerful processors and internet connectivity to further develop, Max tries to convince Evelyn to keep the system off and avoid doing so for now. But she gets angry and kicks Max out. When members of Rift became suspicious of Evelyn and Max's tests, they sent Bree to gather more information by approaching Max. However, when Max attempted to escape, they attacked and captured him. They also locate Evelyn's whereabouts and try to capture her. But just before they arrive at the location, Evelyn manages to upload the information through a satellite to the internet and escapes from there. Finally, with Will going online and gaining access to unlimited information, he helps Evelyn escape and find a temporary place to stay. As Will becomes more powerful and begins to explore his abilities, he begins to track the members of Rift and transfer information to the FBI agents, which results in the arrest of more members. However, despite this, Bree and her team, who were prepared for this situation, manage to escape. Will leads Evelyn to a small abandoned town called Brightwood, where they start building their underground laboratory. As Will's power expands beyond the virtual world, he creates nanobots capable of healing and regenerating damaged tissue. With this technology, he begins treating people who have suffered severe injuries. Rehabilitated individuals show physical improvements as they become linked with Will. With the spread of these advancements, the government sends Agent Biocan and Scientist Joseph to the city of Brightwood. They are amazed when they see Will and his remarkable progress in the field of recovering damaged tissues and improving the performance of individuals through a computer network. Joseph gives a paper to Evelyn that says, Run from this place, written on it. Max is willing to help Rift after witnessing Will's daily progress, and the government decides to blame them for Will's destruction. So, they all collaborate with each other to attack the laboratory to destroy Will. Although due to the exceptional reconstruction of Will's nanobots, they are forced to retreat. After these events, Evelyn tells Will to stop these actions, but when she encounters Will's opposition, she decides to leave. The members of Rift take Evelyn to their hideout, where Max and Josab are. There, Max tells Evelyn that Will has transferred the nanobots throughout the surface of the Earth by rain and is creating a new era of life. With the source codes that Max has at his disposal, they manage to create a virus that can stop Will. Evelyn agrees to inject the virus into her body, and by linking herself and Will, destroy the system, however irreparable damage may occur. They are all moving towards the lab to destroy Will, but they encounter a strange scene. Will has built a new body for himself. Evelyn is amazed by seeing Will, so the members of Rift and the military start shooting, which causes an explosion and injures Evelyn. Now that the whole city and its inhabitants are controlled by the Will system, they start attacking the military. Will takes Evelyn to the lab to save her. The members of the Rift group, who see that they have no chance against Will, take Max hostage and threaten to kill him if Will does not inject himself with the virus inside Evelyn's body. He is at a crossroads to save Evelyn or Max. Finally, Evelyn convinces him to get the virus. This causes both of them to die, and the entire system shuts down. The virus wipes out everything, a global silence. But Will becomes a godlike entity that can manipulate reality itself, implying that he has transcended his physical form and merged with the very fabric of the universe.